We got a new setup here. Everybody like the setup? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Uh, change real quick before we start. Uh, we have a new DJ. Uh, Spicy is no longer with us. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame. But that's all right. We got the next best thing. Look at this. We got John Kane. Welcome, John Kane, right here. For those of you, uh, for those of you just joining us, this is time well spent. I'm R.J. Thieneman. We're at Xavier University. This is season uh, three, four. Yeah, four. Okay. Okay. This is uh, this is this is Will right here. Will's the floor manager. Give a hand for Will. <laughs> and of course, who could forget Reggie? How was your summer, Reg? I mean, I traveled all over the place. I went to New York, Pennsylvania, you name it. Wow. A, yeah. world, a worldly traveled Reggie yeah. Ford. Came back ready for action. Well, let's That's get like this Dave. thing started today. We have Luke Olson is on the show today. We also, we also have members, members from the crew team. Give them a hand. And last but not least, least, Paul Lieber will be playing music for us today. Hey so right now, let me introduce to you the new man with the jersey over there, Johnny DJ Kane. Great to be here, RJ. <laughs> how about this audience? Yeah, how about this audience? <laughs> I'm liking them. I'm liking the audience. The new DJ is good. This is a temporary basis thing. Johnny, Johnny, how was your summer? Uh, my summer was good. Uh, you know, it was it was wasn't too eventful, but it was good. How's yours? John, you don't you don't want to know about my summer. You want, RJ? I want to know about your summer. Come on, just tell me. All right, it went something like this. <laughs> like what? Like like this. Like what? Just watch, John. It was something like this. All okay? right, RJ. I mean, you, you've been holding out, me, out on me for like three weeks now. Here we go. <laughs> Summer loving had me a blast. Summer loving happened so fast. I met a girl crazy for me. Met a boy cute as can be. 
summer days drifting away Ooh, up on the summer nights oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh. Tell me more, tell me more Did you get very far? Tell me more, tell me more Like there's the avocado Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh,
Just sign them at the bottom. They're pre-written. So just sign them, and I'm going to mail them to Conan. And uh, Conan. if you guys have a pen or anything. <laughs> So, so we're gonna hopefully get those get those letters out, and uh, who knows if Conan comes, this could be a pretty big show. This could be a really big show. But anyway, when we come back, I'm gonna talk to Mike Todd and Joe March of the Crew Team. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. How's everybody doing? Woo! Woo! Sorry, that was abrupt. I didn't know we were coming back. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome two members of the XU crew team, Joe March and Mike Todd. Yeah! Hey, Mike. How's it going, guys? Good. How's, uh, how's the crew team doing? Crew team's going real well this year. Um, one day on the mall brought us about what, 40, 40 new novice coming in, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but it's looking good. It's actually pretty incredible. In the past, we've only had maybe 10, 15 each year, like mm -hmm. freshmen. This year, we've got 40 people coming with us to the camp. <laughs> Happy days on the crew team, baby. Good. Um, <laughs> So how are you all summers? <laughs> Good? Uh, Good summers? Yeah. Right here in Cincinnati. Cincinnati? What are you doing in Cincinnati? Main research. Yeah. Yep. Just planning it away, so. Mr. Todd, what were you doing this summer? I was working uh, for the man at McGraw Hill. Ooh, what's textbook, that? Uh, well, it's the textbook publishing company, and I basically, I basically found professors that they could sell the books to so that we would have to buy the new books every year. <laughs> That sounds awful. He's, Thanks, he's, Mike. You made he's it the one terrible for making us, us buy those textbooks. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> can thank this guy. Um, so, if I get this right, you were the president of the crew team and you were the vice president. Is there ever a power struggle between the two? I mean, I know you guys are friends. Do you ever you know, fight over anything? Or? I mean, <laughs> I guess. Every now you could say maybe. so. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Cool. What kind of what kind of issues do you have to work through? Well, I always say that um, <laughs> I'm your biggest fan, but he says he's your biggest fan. So mm -hmm. kind of have a power struggle there. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm the one that brings the signs all the time. So I mean, I think that's evidence enough. Yeah. I mean, it's right over there. The signs over there. <laughs> Excellent. Right. The welcome to Manresa sign. Yeah. Is that one here? That's that's the one I brought. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I, I yeah. just figured it's, it's, it's good Xavier, part of the Xavier spirit, you know, and I thought your show was a perfect example of what Manrese is all about. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I agree. I, I think. Two of my people in my small group for Manrese are here. No way. They're, uh, yeah, over, oh. over in the corner. Yeah! <laughs> Freshmen are here. Freshmen, everyone. Hey. Oh. Kick their ass later. Uh, just you allowed to say that? Definitely oh. just kidding. I didn't know you were allowed to say that. Relax. I'm leaving. Bleep it out. Relax, yeah. We'll edit that out. <laughs> um, what's the craziest rowing experience ever? Craziest thing that's ever happened while you've been rowing? You go first. I'll go first. Um, you mean here at Xavier or? Whatever. All right. Uh, I was rowing back in, <laughs> back in Cleveland. Um, Six o'clock in the morning, rowing down the river in the Cuyahoga, and um, we're rowing, and the guy in front's just like, "Oh hey, look out! There's like a log in the water." We're going past this log, and it turns out to be a dead body. Oh! In the water. <laughs> yeah. So um, we had to like call the coast Did guard you poke and everything. It? Yeah, we poked it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But uh, that's that's my crazy story. That's there. sick. Yeah. But what, did you take it out of the water? The Coast Guard did. Oh, right. Good. Right. Mike, anything? <laughs> I mean, mine wasn't really quite that crazy, but one time uh, at, with the Xavier team, we were in Indianapolis racing Butler one-on-one, -on -one, and, uh, and it was like kind of like cold out, and there was like a bunch of clouds, but all of a sudden, 
we're out like heading to the beginning of this race and uh, and we see this this huge like black mass of clouds like mm. super dark like darkest clouds I've ever seen okay <laughs> just picture that and then <laughs> and we're rowing into them okay and then we get there and we turn around and and we're all like when you're in a boat you face backwards and you you row you know right and you, you row, face right. the I mean, coxswain you know, that looks at just, you right just for the yeah right so yeah. so you're facing backwards and so we're looking at these clouds coming and all of a sudden you can see like across the surface of the water this like mass of like water splashing up because because it starts just precipitation okay <laughs> well that's what we thought we, i was thinking my god it's raining really hard and we're gonna get nailed but it it like slowly is creeping closer and closer and it's just getting more and more freaky and it's basically like we're like bugs? rowing and no well i thought it was like locusts or something but it turned out to be just hail it was like the like this huge hailstorm and, and we we just like hurried back to, to the docks as quick as we could and we all had like piles wow. of ice it was, it was intense Oh my gosh, well if that's not a reason, dead bodies and hail, I'm doing crew. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we but, uh, love the heavy back. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the show, guys. Give me another hand. <laughs> thanks.